Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Alena Finagena. This is my colleague Viktor Kazorin. He will be glad to answer all, your, all of your questions. Um, we present here National Research University High School of Economics and Scientific Research Institute Quant. Uh, today we, uh, we introduce you our method, method uh, of automatic extraction of anglicisms in Russian social network texts. You know, um, for today, there are a lot of, there's a huge mass of social networks texts in the internet and all these texts are written by users in a pretty informal way. So, uh, if you can read Russian, you will understand what I mean by this informal <laughs> lexis. Uh, this is an example of uh, one, of the one, one of the most popular social networks, Kontakte. Uh, it's, uh, this post is full of anglicisms, a huge number of borrowings from English. And, well, I can speak Russian and, no, well, I know Russian and I know English as well, but uh, I, need, I had to read it for about three times to understand the whole message completely. So, um, I'm a human, okay, but what about the automatic systems? You know, the morphological analyzers and syntactic parsers will, you know, are likely to crash on such words. Uh, so, um, in the, um, all these processes of due to the process of globalizations and uh, different social and interlingual uh, processes, a uh, uh, number of uh, anglicisms are increasing uh, this every year. So we need to cope with it somehow and find some uh, method to, um, to solve this problem and to process such texts somehow. Uh, so uh, in this report, uh, we introduce you uh, our uh, method, our variant of how we try to cope with it. <coughs> um, yeah. Our method uh, is for detecting anglicisms loan words in Russian social networks texts. Um, uh, the, um, the main idea of our method um, is based on the simultaneous scripting, phonetics and semantic uh, similarity of the origin uh, Latin word and its Kyrillic analog. Um, at first, um, we uh, used a set of transliteration, phonetics transcri transcri transcribing and morphological analysis, analysis methods to find possible hypotheses. And then, uh, using distribu uh, distributional semantic, we uh, filtered such hypotheses. Su such hypothesis. Uh, this is the general architecture of our method. Uh, I explain it step by step in detail. Yeah. The first one, uh, what we needed, is to collect a social network corpus. Uh, we chose live Russian blog platform uh, Live Journal. Uh, we decided that it's just um, more <coughs> that uh, it contains more relevant texts than, for example, Contact or Twitter, because there are a lot of uh, texts of different topics, themes. Um, it's written by um, users of different ages and interests and uh, it has less proportion of plagiasms so we don't need to um, uh, delete dupl duplicates. Um, so we collected uh, 2,000 um, texts and comments in Russian and in English. So 10 million Russian texts, 10 million um, English texts. <coughs> For uh, hypothesis generation, um, uh, we based on the idea that language speakers tend to preserve phonetic and orthographic uh, properties of the borrowed word. So uh, we assumed that uh, people transcribed or transliterate uh, the English word into Russian word. So that's why we separated our method uh, uh, of hypothesis uh, generation of two parts, yeah, transliteration and trans transcription. Um, in case of transliteration, um, uh, we thought that speaker has some internal intuition about how to uh, about the writing system of foreign language and how to uh, convert uh, the word. Um, and here um, we decided to uh, make some statistical method 
uh, based on the co-occurrences of um, syllables, of word syllables. So um, we took um, um, not big corpus uh, of um, anglicisms and uh, normal and their transliterations. Uh, and based on syllables, they have made this uh, statistical language model. Yeah. Uh, so by this um, model, uh, we generated a uh, transliteration hypothesis. Um, <coughs> in transcription, um, in case of transcription, um, we supposed that uh, we uh, assume that a speaker is supposed to preserve words for fun, uh, nation while writing English word with Cyrillic scripts. Uh, we used only in vocabulary lexes uh, with predefined transcriptions uh, from Cambridge dictionaries. Uh, so um, based on it, uh, we uh, made context-dependent grammar plus additional uh, rules uh, based on practical transcription of English name entities proposed by Gilerowski. Uh, so uh, we got uh, the list of possible hypotheses of English words. Uh, so how can uh, how uh, they could be written in Russian? Transliterations, variants, and translations. Um, but anglicisms are, uh, are not just um, the direct transliteration and transcription can be so. A uh, very frequent type of anglicisms is when um, it has a Russian or English root and some Russian affixes. So, <coughs> for these cases, um, we made um, LSTM uh, based root extractor uh, that was trained on 97,000 pairs of normal forms and roots. Uh, roots were extracted from Wiki Dictionary. Uh, we use this method for uh, non-vocabulary words of our corpus with frequency more than uh, 30. Uh, so by this method, uh, we got uh, one more uh, set of hypotheses based on roots. Um, so um, next step in hypothesis generation was to compare uh, these two sets these many sets, okay. Uh, we had one set with root candidates and normal forms in Russian, yeah? and, trans and uh, different, trans uh, di different uh, hypotheses of generations from English. So this, uh, all these combinations were compared uh, by Levenstein's distances. Uh, and as a result, we got uh, our finishing, no, resulting like, hypothesis set. Um, well, as you know, um, uh, many anglicisms yeah, uh, are used in the same uh, context in both English and Russian spelling in social text. Yeah, we assume that it's, it's so. Uh, so we decided that distribution semantics should yeah, filter um, cases of anglicism such way. So um, we <coughs> trained Skipgram model uh, and checked uh, our resulting hypothesis, yeah, our candidates in Kyrillic, in this model, so uh, we took uh, top s top ten or oh, top hundred similar words, and if our English hypothesis is in uh, in, in in this um, hundred top words in skip gram set, so we decided that it's the word is proved to be anglicism. Um, but um, there is one problem that. Uh, some anglicisms are, rare, are rarely uh, used by Russian speakers in the text in their um, Latin original spelling. So that's why we decided one more um, solution for this. Uh, we tried to translate um, yeah, it's a translation and context search. Uh, for each hypothesis um, that is not okay. Uh, <coughs> we train SIBO model <laughs> on um, context. Um, yes. Yeah, for each hypothesis, uh, all context containing five words left, five words uh, right. Uh, we, yeah, we, we collected yeah, all context uh, and translated them and trained on it SIBO model. Uh, if top 100 uh, most relevant English words for each context contain English analog, of the hypothesis in more than 50% of cases, we consider this hypothesis to be proved. <coughs> well, to evaluate all this, 
um, we took the, um, the dictionary of Anglicism by Diakov. Um, but the problem is that um, the words from our corpus are not all in uh, uh, Diakov's model. So only uh, 4,321 words from Diakov dictionary is available in our model. Uh, and in Skipgram, uh, only 2,417 words. And that's why we decided to manually annotate it all hypotheses with Levenstein distance less than one uh, that were missed at the Yakov Dictionary. Uh, so in total, uh, 1,146 anglicisms were found by our method. Uh, we also um, will count, counted uh, precision recall and F measure, and we got um, 30, no, almost 40% uh, percent F measure, which is quite good. Uh, so in conclusion, to sum it up, um, we proved that our method is fully, uh, is worked and it, uh, uh, it finds anglicisms. Um, and what is interesting, uh, our method uh, can catch not only borrowings from uh, English fr to Russian, but uh, from Russian to English as well. Uh, we think that our results will be very <coughs> well, will be very valuable for theoretical researches and can be applied in some um, practical systems. Uh, in future, uh, we want to um, improve our transliteration and transcriptions uh, model uh, to reduce the number of candidates and uh, make our method more, um, um, make, make it not so slowly. Um, then uh, we also want to use an, maybe another corpora, Twitter or Contact or some other, you know. Um, and yeah, we think that maybe we we also made some online service with uh, lists of new anglicisms uh, yeah, for everyone. <laughs> mm. Thank you for attention. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions? Hmm? Uh, I have two questions. Uh, one regards um, precision. Yeah. Have you tried uh, looking at Russian dictionaries? And yeah. with, uh, I mean, filtering your results with some Russian dictionaries and filtering out the words which occur in the Russian dictionaries themselves because you may uh, overproduce some words yeah. by transliterating them from English. Uh, you may produce some words which actually uh, are not in dictionary and ah. you could filter them out by using a Russian dictionary. А можно на русском, да, тоже, кстати. Ну, в смысле, можно на любом, просто кто из вас отвечает. На этапе, на этапе каком? В смысле, при эволюэйшене? Мы удалили же. Просто, сейчас объясню. А, нет, где? Вот, вот здесь. Non-vocabulary words. We took only non-vocabulary words in Russian vocabulary. И тогда получилось, что, yeah, here we took only in, in this set was only non-vocabulary non words. Покрытие в смысле recall. Потому что у нас получился маленький recall, потому что мы использовали только слова, которые есть и в диагноском словаре. То есть мы измеряли нашу полноту по отношению к диагноском словарю. И мы драли пересечение на словаре слов, которые есть и в диагноском словаре, и есть в скипдром модели. И это пересечение очень маленькое, оказалось. То есть, 
Такое число за счет того, просто, что многие слова из словаря, они не встретились да, в да, социальных да, сетях. Да, да. И наоборот, у нас были какие-то слова, которые не Который... словами. То есть, и вообще у нас же ну, нет какого-то словаря, в котором не есть англицизм. Поэтому да, то есть у нас не было это такого. Это такая, как сказать, ну, приблизительная, на самом деле, оценка. Да. Это некоторые истинные. Мы его смотрели, но там... Там сильно выше. Наверное. Да, там чуть повыше. Наверное, больше, но... Да, но там, но там есть тоже слова, которые есть в словаре, но и нет у нас. Есть, которые есть у нас, но нет в словаре. Mm -hmm. А я закончу? Как вы хотите? Вы лучше говорить в this uh, process of uh, the uh, translation of uh, letters to syllables. Uh, oh. How do, do you uh, form this yeah. model? Language model? Uh, yeah, we separate, no, we had um, a set yeah, of uh, English variants and transliteration Russian candidates. So we took the Yakov dictionary and manually created set. Yeah? So uh, we took these two columns yeah, and separate each of them on syllables. And from this, uh, from these syllables, we generate yeah, big grams, three grams, no, n grams of syllables. And yeah, uh, made, no, we can, like it, waited some weeks, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, and made yeah, kind of language model for this. So yeah, this is kind of statistical so method for it. Of occurrences of syllables. Yeah, that's why we wanted to make as much as possible a hypothesis that could be here. So th that's why for, for example, word, I don't know, flash, yeah, we had here, for example, um, three, four candidates and in this transcription set as well some candidates. And all of this we <coughs> compare here. Spanish now. Uh, and uh, the last question. Uh, uh, in the slide after that, I uh, think the next, next uh, when you talk, talk about um, yeah, uh, the CBO uh, model, uh, I actually I have to understand how do you train this and uh, what hypo uh, hypothesis do you prove? Uh, because uh, the CBO. Yeah, we took um, English uh, texts, yeah, and we translated <coughs> the context. So uh, for hypothesis, we took context, English context, uh, and no, that contained five words left, five words right, right? Uh, translated it, yeah, and um, we check, yeah, English and this uh, translated. By Bing, yeah, uh, by Bing, I thought, yeah. Sorry, uh, by Bing, Bing. Uh, Bing, Google, Yandex. Ah, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. No questions? Uh, I have one more question about the translation. Uh, mm -hmm. You have mentioned Bing and other statistical machine translation systems. Um, did uh, the translation system influence uh, the quality? Can you estimate uh, As I remember, 180 words were found by this method.